Recipes are super helpful for those who aren't sure how to make something from scratch. And since homemade raw diets are becoming a much more popular way to feed pets, simple, safe, and nutritious recipes are needed now more than ever. So I made one for you that's exactly that. This recipe is for healthy adult dogs around 40 to 45 pounds, meaning it's around 1,000 calories and about 22 ounces or 632 grams of food. But don't worry, if your dog weighs more or less than this, you can easily adjust this recipe for your dog's needs, and I'll show you how later in this video. Now, this recipe isn't the only thing you should feed for the rest of your dog's life, but it is a great starter recipe to feed when your dog's transitioning into their new diet. So let's start building. First, we're going to start with the base of this meal, the muscle meat. Raw feeders try to recreate what wild canines naturally eat in the wild by Frankensteining different animal parts together. This loosely mimics a prey animal's body, and muscle meat is what takes up most of the body. So let's first add in four ounces or 113 grams of boneless, skinless chicken thigh. This is something that you can find in most grocery stores. It's lean, it's easy on the digestive system, and it's also a familiar flavor that your dog may already be used to. But there's a problem. White meats like this aren't as nutritious as something like red meats. So they're a lot lower in nutrients like zinc, iron, and B vitamins, which your dog needs in their diet. So to add in more nutrients to this recipe, let's also add five ounces or 142 grams of 90-10 ground beef. I like using ground meats in beginner recipes because it has a similar texture to canned food. So this texture will be a lot more familiar. Now let's move on to the muscular organ. These are things like heart, lungs, green tripe, and gizzards. And since these also take up a good portion of a prey animal's body, I like to add in at least one of these parts. Chicken hearts are pretty easy to find. They're packed with B vitamins, iron, and zinc. And they're also the perfect size for any dog. So let's add in 3.4 ounces or 96 grams of chicken heart. Next is the raw meaty bone, which keeps your dog's bones strong and their teeth clean. Raw bone is also the only animal part that provides enough calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium to the diet. Now, feeding bones may sound scary, but remember, we're trying to mimic a prey animal. So as long as you never feed cooked bones and you stick to the right-sized raw meaty bones, they're perfectly safe to feed. So for this recipe, I'm adding in 5.2 ounces or 147 grams of chicken wing. Wings are pretty easy to find, good for beginners, and great for scraping tartar off the teeth. If you're feeding wing to a small dog, just remove the drumette. The next ingredient is the only body part that provides two nutrients that are hard to get elsewhere, and that body part is liver. Secreting organ meats like liver are the carnivore's natural multivitamin because they're super concentrated in vitamins and minerals. And this recipe calls for 0.4 ounces or 11 grams of beef liver. I like using beef liver or another ruminant animal liver like goat, lamb, or bison because they're much higher in copper than poultry liver. Next, we need to add at least one other secreting organ meat. A prey animal has many secreting organs in their body, like pancreas, spleen, brain, and many more. But it's tough to find many of these at the grocery store. So in this recipe, I'm adding one of the most common secreting organ meats you can find, beef kidney, which is a great B vitamin booster. This recipe calls for 1.3 ounces or 37 grams. Okay, this is a fine prey model meal so far, but since we can't find every body part in a prey animal's body, a few nutrients are still missing that make this recipe complete and ready for your pup. So to make it nutritionally complete, we need to add a few more whole food ingredients. So next, add one ounce or 28 grams of pink salmon canned in water. Salmon provides ample amounts of omega-3s and vitamin D, which are two nutrients that are often low in many raw diets. Canned salmon is a lot easier to find in most stores, and it's also cheaper than getting raw salmon. Next is one of the only plant-based ingredients in this recipe, spinach. This leafy green helps top off a few minerals and is also a great fiber source, which can help keep your dog's stool firm during the diet change. I suggest feeding this either cooked or pureed. 
Doing this not only makes it a lot more tasty, but it also makes it more digestible. So let's add two ounces or 57 grams of it. The last two ingredients are only needed in the smallest amounts, and you're probably going to have to order these online. The first one is seaweed, and in this recipe, I'm using this brand, which is a mixture of kelp, dulse, and lava. Seaweed is super concentrated in the mineral iodine, which is very low in raw diets that don't include a thyroid gland, which is most raw diets. This recipe only needs about one teaspoon. The last ingredient is actually the only non-whole food item, and this is vitamin E oil. I'm using this brand, which contains all eight forms of naturally occurring vitamin E. And all we need is one gel cap every two to three days. And voila, that is it. But wait, what about the adult dogs that weigh more or less than 40 pounds? How are you supposed to figure out how many calories they need? Well, in my free raw feeding cheat sheet, I give you the simple formula on how to figure this out, along with other helpful info like what meats, organs, and bones you can feed, what nutrients are commonly low in raw diets, and many other helpful tips and reminders. And you can download your free cheat sheet in the link below.